Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So, as we know, in this time, there are many webinars being conducted, different institutes, different colleges, and different classes are conducting many webinars. And after the webinars, they give e-certificate to their students. Now, when students or even professional people, when they attend a particular program or some webinars, or a, suppose it is a two or three days complete training program or something like that. So once it gets over, they are very much excited to receive their certificates and post it on LinkedIn. And we have seen many times like different colleges or when we attend different uh, webinars online, they take a lot of time, like they take a day or two to send the certificates and you are, you we normally don't have uh, patience to wait and post that certificate after some days on LinkedIn or some any other social media platforms. So in this video, what we are going to do is if suppose a webinar is being conducted and there is already a template of certificate available in which each and every name of the participants, no matter 100, 200. So suppose if there are 400 participants and the certificates are to be sent individually to each one of them with a the customized text. So in that case, it can be a problem. So what we are going to do in this particular video is we are going to solve that particular problem for colleges, for different institutes by building a bot uh, in UiPath. So what we are going to do is here, we have two things. One is a certificate template that we want to send to each user in the form of a PDF once the session is completed. And we have an Excel file that contains the list of participants that attended the two days session. So only two things which might be already available to, with different colleges and institutes like each institute or college has their own user template with their logo or anything as such. So once we have that, we are going to build a UI path robot, which on one click is going to generate all the certificates and keep it saved in a particular folder. So let's do it. I think the topic is already very interesting to be explored. Okay, so in this particular video, there is one set of package that we need to install, which has been developed by Bala Rivasar. He has amazing set of activities in UI path. And I think if you are watching this video in your life, you have at least used twice or thrice Bala Riva activities, which are really amazing. So even I'm going to use one set of activities from Bala Riva. Okay. So now the package name is balareva.easypowerpoint and balareva.powerpoint. So these two activities we are going to use. Which one we are going to use where I will let you know. So you need to simply go to all packages balareva.powerpoint. I have already installed them. This is the first one. And the second one is easy. One second easy power. So these two set of packages you need to install. Once you install that, just search in your activity panel, Bala Reva, and you have easy PowerPoint and PowerPoint. Now, before we start understanding the complete workflow of the certificate generator, let's understand what all data we have over here with us. So the first one is the Excel file of the participants that participate in the webinar. So as you can see here, we have participants name now for just for the demo purpose, I have kept less one, two, three, four, five. So now what I want is I want to generate a certificate for all of them by just click of a button in my UI path and I've built that particular robot. Okay. So now the certificate template is in the form of PowerPoint, which we are going to at the end, convert it into a PDF. Now you see here, let me change it to name since I'd previously executed it. Okay. Now you see, this is the particular template here. There can be logo as well here. There can be signature, but I have not kept any because here I'm just trying to demonstrate the application of this particular concept. So certificate of achievement, this acknowledges that here will put the username from Excel file over here has attended the webinar on RPA conducted by Parth Doshi. This is just a template and here is my signature and here is my name. November 1, 2020, the date is automatically there over here. 
so let me just save this okay and what i have to basically now right now you might have got the structure of the workflow that we are going to build if not don't worry i will show step by step process of building the complete workflow so first of all i need the data of all these participants in our data table so i'm using a read range activity wherein i'm reading the excel file and storing the data into a participants data table now what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop through each of the participants name so that's why i'm using a for each row activity within that first of all i have a variable called name to which i am assigning row dot item dot the column name dot two string so here in this variable i am getting one name one by one now what you need to do is you need to use the powerpoint application scope within this if you see in easy powerpoint scope in main and then you have the powerpoint application scope once you drag that you need to indicate the template as we use in excel application scope or any other scope you need to indicate the template now after that there is a slide extractor if you can see over here now this is actually not required if we can like manually understand it but what is this used for you know so it will extract the number of text boxes that i have over here now you see this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven so there are seven slide objects in this particular slide as you can see the border and all are not counted because they are not editable so one two three four five six and seven i have seven fields in this particular slides that can be edited but what i need to edit is only the third one so this is one two and three now i know over here my uh directly like even if you are doing it you will always have only one particular area where you want to write the name of the participant so here we have this third position so let's delete this particular activity uh activity yeah so now how can you edit the powerpoint slide exactly at this particular text box location so you see i have only slide one so for that what you need to do is you need to go to slides and you need to use the text shape edit activity so once you drag that what inputs you need to give are the slide index which is definitely one text index now text index is this what we were talking about one two three so our text index is the third one which i want to edit now you need not worry like how it will it understand in the back end because this is the numbering that is already there i have not given any numbering but it will by default give that numbering and consider that particular location so my slide text index is going to be 3 now what i need to edit over that like what text i want to give that you need to give in text style so here you need to write new text shape so this is a function by balareva sir himself text shape okay and here you need to pass the variable name which i want to edit and write over that okay now once you have done it you see it is very simple just one activity and we had to identify what package to be used and we have used the powerpoint application scope we have given the application uh sorry the powerpoint presentation template we have given used the text shape edit to edit that particular section so again slide index text index and what you need to edit over there. after that you know we have a one simple task left that is going to be export to pdf this is also one of the activities by balareva sir so in powerpoint why had we installed balareva.powerpoint is used to use the activity export to pdf now file path is definitely going to be my template which i have given above and pdf file path is the same location right but i am saving the pdfs with name of the participant so that it is easy to understand okay so let me save this now here we have successfully built our workflow so what did our workflow the steps what were the steps first one was reading the excel file second one was looping through the excel file the third one was editing the powerpoint slide and the fourth one was saving it as a pdf with the participants name so this were the four steps involved in our complete workflow and we have is easy, very easily built it so let me close all of this let me close this as well and let's execute the workflow and see the certificate generated within seconds now right now we have five certificates to be generated so let's wait for them to get generated 
and now you see this process is speed up so much now even if there are 100 participants it will hardly take few minutes now at the end of this video after we see if the output is proper or not i will give you an one advancement that you can do in this particular project and i want you to do that and post it on linkedin and tag me uh, my linkedin profile link is in the description so you can easily connect with me and you can do that advancement and maybe you can suggest it in your college or in your institute or in your company to generate the certificates quickly so we have four already generated you see the timing 48 48 49 14 and now it's complete how much time did it take 45 seconds to five names so let's do some calculation so five names took 45 seconds so 5 into 25 is going to be 125 so 45 into 25 one, one divided by 60 so you see 18 minutes and you will have 100 certificates generated i think it will even take lesser time this is just we are calculating based on this five names but i think it will take very lesser time so let's open the pdf and see whether we have got the proper output or not Okay, this is taking I to set Adobe as my default PDF reader, but no problem. Let, let's open this. I think I should. Yeah. Okay. Till then, this will also. Now you see very accurately, very perfectly, and this is very amazing that we have used UI Path to build our own certificate generator, and this can be used in each and every place there are institutes there are colleges there are different committees even i conducted a webinar some days back at universal college of engineering there also they had generated the certificates and given to students so that takes time but here within no time we were able to generate all the certificates for different participants now what advancement can be done that i was talking about so what you can do is you can take the email id of this particular students in this second column right you can read this as well so as soon as the certificates is generated it should be mailed to that particular student with the customized email like hi rakesh only include the first name not the last name hi rakesh this is the certificate of achievement on successfully attending the two days webinar on rpa conducted by Parth doshi at you can give your college name or institute name or anything as such so now you have a complete you say certificate generator built along with the customized mailing feature so this is how we can use the capabilities or different sets of activities of rpa and develop our own certificate generator so i hope you gained knowledge and learned something very interesting in this video this is very interesting i think developing our own certificate generator using UiPath. Thank you for watching the complete video. Please do subscribe to my channel, Pardoshi Learning by Doing. And don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.